Before going to connect this buck connector in MATLAB symlink, if you don't know about this buck connector theoretically, I provided the link in description. You can watch it, then that will be helpful for the buck connector designing. Generally, we call it as a buck connector depending on voltage only. Okay, it decreases the one voltage into another voltage. Okay, for example, I am taking the 10 volts DC as input and I want to get the output as 5 volts. This is the example I am taking here. I am applying the 10 volts DC as the input. Okay, actually, this is the buck connector circuit. Here in buck connector, we have the power electronic switch combination switches and diode D. Okay, here I am taking the switches IGBT. Okay, this is the IGBT switch and I will give it to the gate passes because to turn on to turn off we are giving the gate passes here that's why i'm apply applying the gate generation nothing but the pass generation okay so for diode we don't need to give the pass generation because it will on automatically and it will off automatically when we connect to this input to only this power electronic switch what will get we will get the waveform like this okay when switch is on we get the 10 volts when switch is off we get the 0 volts right when again switch is on we get the 10 volts and gen 0 volts 10 volts and 0 volts like that we are getting here we can get the average 5 volts okay what do you want we need the 5 volts dc if you take the average of these two 10 plus 0 by 2 we get the average voltage of 5 volts but it have the so much of ripple content right actually dc means this straight line but we get the pulses okay this is the output we are getting when only this input is connecting to the power electronic switch only okay to reduce this ripple content we need to connect the passive filter okay this is the passive filter combination of l and c okay why we need to take this combination if you take the only l inductor your output will be transferred from pulsing to like this charge and discharge charge and discharge when switch is on it will charge when switch is off it will discharge okay again charge again discharge again charge again discharge but we need a output is straight line right that's why we need to connect the this inductor and the help of capacitor this is the l and c combination when you connect the these two passive filters then you can get the waveform is like this this is the exact output you are getting at the output okay and if you want to get the 5 volts you need to give the duty cycle nothing but the pass generation duty cycle is 0 0.5 why because we know the output is equal to d into vn this is the buck converter output voltage expression okay here v input means input voltage v naught means output voltage okay here d means duty cycle okay duty cycle of the all pulse generation if you take this duty cycle is 0 0.5 then you can get the 5 volts if you take the duty cycle is 0, 0 0.25 you can get the output voltage 2.5 we are getting the output voltage depending on duty cycle okay how much time this switch is on and off okay now let's connect this buck converter in matlab open your matlab and go to symlink and then take one blank model so in this blank model we are connecting the buck converter circuit okay first of all what do we need we need a input source dc voltage source and then one igbt and then one diode right so take that devices okay in simulating library we are getting all those okay open your library browser and take what we need first of all we need a electrical source right in simscape power electronics specialized technologies fundamental blocks we get the electrical sources here electrical sources we have we have the dc voltage source right that's why i'm taking the dc voltage source and then we want one igbt and diode right go to power electronics then you can get the igbt and diode okay so take the diode you directly right click and add to blank model and you can also use the shortcut control i to add this block to your blank model okay and again take igbt till now we are taking only input source switch and diode after we want inductor capacitor one resistance load right so take the inductor capacitor and resistance load in elements you can get the combination of rlc so after you can take the separately okay and then again what we need to measure the output voltage you need a voltage measurement right so take the voltage measurement in measurements you get you can get the voltage measurement so take it and then what we need we need a power gui graphical user interface block without this one we can't connect any electronic power electronic circuits okay so and then what we need we we already take the output voltage measurement right so to see the waveform we need to take the another device that is called scope okay go to sinks and take scope to see the waveform and if you want to take the display you can also take the display to see the value of your output okay value this is the display shows the only value if you take the scope it can show it as a waveform okay and what we need again we need a pass generator okay to give the gate pulse of this igbt we need a pass generator okay so in sources you can get the pass generator this is the pass generator okay take this one so now connect as per our circuit diagram
first of all take dc source as the input and give it to the switch igbd like that's it right this is the our circuit first of all take the input source and connect to the switch s and iod and then pass a filter and give it to the load so connect as per this so first of all i'm taking the igbd here okay connected to him to i'm giving it to the input okay and then what we need we are taking the diode d okay and then just see what happen if you directly connect these two switches to the load okay without passive filter nothing but without filter how our voltage will be okay take only resistance load r and now connect and to measure the output voltage what we need we need a voltage measurement right so take this one here and connect to it across load like how we connect the voltmeter in our lab okay and give it a scope and if you want to know the value of this one you can connect to the display here we are taking the input voltage as 10 volts dc so take the amplitude voltage as 10 volts give it to the igbt as pulses okay and apply gate signal to the igbt okay in pulse generator you can get the pulse width modulation percent how much we need to convert 10 volts into 5 volts we need a 50 percent pulse width modulation right okay here this time period is in seconds in seconds means in time okay but we know the frequency in hs okay so to convert the this time period into the frequency what we have we have the p is equal to 1 by f right this is the formula but here they are giving only in the time nothing but the in seconds so we have only frequency like in kilo hs okay that's why i'm taking the 1 by 2 kilo hz nothing but the 2000 hs okay this is the 2 kilo hz right that's why i'm taking the value of the time period is 1 by 2000 nothing but the 2 kilo hz okay now take resistance load as 1 ohm that's it okay so now you can take the time period as 1 okay nothing but the x axis okay now take power j to the discrete because our circuit in the discrete mode okay that's it now you can run it let's see what will happen okay so in output this is the output rate right? to zoom it just zoom this one you can get only on and off on and off pulses if you give the 10 volts input to the igbt you can get only pass to 10 volts and then zero pass to 10 volts and then zero pass to 10 volts and then zero without using the passive filter this is the problem we are not getting the exact dc okay we are getting the only pulses okay like we are what we are explaining in the circuit okay here when you connect these switches to the directly load you can get only pulses okay nothing but the average is 5 volts but we are we are have the so much of ripple content to decrease this triple content we are connecting the inductor and capacitor here so let's see what will happen when you connect only passive filter as the inductor now open your matlab and take only inductor here okay so take inductor right click and drag you can easily copy that one and take inductor i am taking the uh, value of inductor is 0 0.003 henry okay just connect it to this one okay now we are adding the passive filter as inductor only okay just run it let's see what will get the in output okay here you can get the output okay so you are getting the gear to dc right like charging like charge and discharge charge and discharge like this charge and discharge charge and discharge but if you connect directly to the circuit you get only the passes right if you add the passive filter as the inductor you can get the nearer to dc okay but not a pure dc it is nearer to dc right charge discharge charge discharge this is the use of passive filter here okay now let's see how we connect the passive filter as yes, combination of l and c okay let's see open your matlab and add again the capacitor here okay just right click and drag and take the only capacitor like c I'm taking the capacitor value is nothing but 0 0.003 farads. Okay, so now connect this circuit. Yes, now it's look like our complete buck converter, right? So here we are taking the input as DC, and I'm taking the power alternator switch. I'm taking the combination of LC filter, nothing but the passive filter to reduce the ripple content in the or output. Okay, and connect to the load. Okay, to measure the input also take voltage measurement to the input also. Okay, if you want to see the how our input will be okay why because i am giving the 10 volts dc right so to see this one connect to the scope so if you want to see that this both waveforms in a single scope so take scope and take it as a two inputs open scope and go to settings and then here you can change it number of input posts to two because i need a two waveforms in one graph okay so give it to the input like this and give it to the output also 
okay to see this input and output as a only one way from okay so now run your circuit what will happen let's see what happens okay so so see the waveform yes this is the our output waveform right if you take the cycle x axis nothing but the 10 now you can able to see the exact dc okay this is the exact dc right we're getting nearer to 5 volts okay Actually, if you give the pulse with modulation as 50%, when you taking the input is 10, what happens? We have the formula, right? V0 is equal to D into Vn. If you take the 0 0.5 volts as duty cycle, then you can get the 5 volts, okay? But here we are not getting the 5 volts. We are getting the nearer to 5 volts. That nearer to value is indicating as the losses, okay? This switching losses here, here we are getting. To turn on the diode, to turn on the switch, we need to we need to give a breakdown voltage, right? So, that's why we have the switching losses. That's why we are not getting exact 5 volts okay we can get the only nearer to 5 volts if you see the both input and output waveforms just open this scope then you can able to see the input and output waveform this yellow color indicates the input waveform what we are giving here 10 volts okay and this blue color indicates the output waveform here what we get at the nearer to 5 volts okay that's it this is the buck converter if you take the pass generator pass generator pulse width modulation is 25 percent what will happen due to cycle is 25 percent what will happen in this formula just take 0 0.5 as 0 0.25 what will happen you can get the only 2.5 volts let's see now run your circuit here what will happen you can get the 2.4 2.4 nothing but the nearer to 2.5 right so here how we can convert the 10 volts to the 2.5 volts when just one change is needed just take pulse, pulse width modulation as 25 then you can get the nearer to 2.5 volts okay so again open your scope then you can see the waveforms as input this is the output that is the use of power electronic switch and that is the use of inductor and that is the use of capacitor without this combination we are not get the exact dc okay each and every element is important here that's why our circuit is like this only if you want to know about boost converter like this in matlab simlink i will provide link in the description you can watch it